Well, the days is going as planned because as we expected on the video I posted yesterday evening when AMC was running after hours, we're actually seeing that even though pre-market, we didn't have 10% gains as we had after hours yesterday, it still started on a very, very green, strong day. And uh, even if, you know, at some point it was trading below the 19th, you know, at some point on the 18th, right now I'm recording this video, we're already back on the 21th. And if you look at what is happening with the other meme stocks and what is happening especially on the option chain we can definitely expect if if we close depending on where we close today we might actually see a gamma squeeze coming leading to potentially higher highs coming up for amc next week and the coming weeks just looking at the volume that this gamma squeeze will cause what am i talking about well first off look at what is happening today. If you haven't watched yesterday's video, one of the main reasons why we're seeing GameStop up 10% now, we've seen um, AMC up 15% almost now, it's because yesterday, Rand Cohen, the chairman of GameC Stop, decided to invest 100,000 shares into AMC, causing pretty much, you know, triggering this short squeeze because this was coming from nowhere. Not, nobody thought that this will actually cause the meme stock to get some huge momentum, all right? And more likely because the same short sellers that are in GameStop are likely also in AMC and in COS because these were pretty much running in tandem. But one of the main drivers today when you look at these three stocks is majorly GameStop and AMC. Now, because we've been running and passing some of the key levels that were sitting around the 20s. I'm talking about the resistance. And just looking at a clear, this is not you know really te te technical analysis, but just looking at where we've been sitting for the last six months, we've been trading for the last six months, you can actually tend to see where AMC was acting as a resistance. We've seen that 19 or 1967 or 20 was a resistance. Now we're trading above 20. That's why we've seen a big sharp all the way up to the 22s. Then the next resistance likely will be around the 23s. And before the 23s, I mean, between the 23s and the 28, definitely we might expect if we break the 23, not majorly today, not principally today, but it, let's say tomorrow because of, you know, FOMO and people chasing the pump, the day trader, the swing trader, we might get a pop here or some other short sellers that will get burned above the 20s to actually start also covering, then it might push the share price again higher to maybe the 20s. Remember, this is really likely similar to what we had back in June 2021 when AMC all of the way, I mean, not at the very same day, but everything that happened between February, you know, all the way up to June. We had many other stocks pumping because of a short squeeze. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much similar to what we have today. So that to say that I don't think this might be, you know, um, a bad thing to expect higher numbers when it comes to the share price on AMC. Again, everything depends on where we close today, tomorrow, and especially on Friday. Because looking at the option chain, this is tongue or trunk. At the time I'm recording this video, if we were to close today at $21.16 shares, you see that we already have 100,000 calls expiring in the money. These were looking at a strike price of $22. So all the people that were already calling or betting on AMC to close around $22 by this week will already be making money. But where it gets even more interesting is when you look at the calls that are to <laughs> expire on this Friday, man, we are talking about a 1x to 1. So 100% bullish option chain 100 <laughs> percent this is very interesting so you're looking here we have 100,000 calls already in the money and here we only only have 1300 this is to say how inverted half of an opposite you know half of a reversal this huge price action have changed the sentiment into the option chain oh so look and pay close attention to this because this might definitely cause another big 
gamma squeeze, meaning people, the market makers who sold these options will need to buy the covered shares. But let's be careful here because this is not the first time we're getting here. You know, we've seen that the FTDs, the fail to delivers, is never ever seen before at wholesome high, meaning the market makers will not necessarily do what it needs to be done by buying these shares because I think part of it would have already been done currently at this moment. But again, um, you cannot guarantee anything in the stock market, especially when it comes to stocks like AMC and GameStop. So just pay close attention to these levels as we get into the closing of this session, but definitely this week. But as of now, <laughs> things look good.